<laughs> true basketball fans stayed around and uh, wanted to hear the post-game comments from the coach. Coach, how have you seen the team develop def uh, defensively when you key stops? Big, you know, big stops at the end, big stops. Uh, I thought our rebounding, you know, they really hurt us uh, the first game with their, their offensive rebounding. So, uh, you know, not only the stops, but getting those rebounds, especially at the end of the game. I thought Torian was a big part of that. You know, when he gets 11 or 12 rebounds, whatever he got tonight, that really helps us. Uh, but uh, like I said, we keep, we're improving defensively. And uh, um, offense wasn't great. When you win a game, when we make uh, you know seven threes, that's good news. Um, I will defend our offense a little. We got to the rim a ton. You know, we, we really attacked the rim all the night. Can I ask you about that? Even though you didn't shoot well from three, is there a correlation between yeah. keep firing and the looks that you are getting at the rim? And I'm, I'm sure the scouting report is get them off the three point line. So now we're closeouts all the time. You know, show 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 it. Don't take a contested one. I thought. That's what happened in the first half. We were taking a ton of contested shots, and then we started getting them up in the air, driving it, and, and uh, really making some some uh, good plays at the rim. Kenny, after the first Denver game, where the reserves really were the reason you guys lost, did you change the way you did? Because you held them pretty much a check the, the bench. That is, did you change the way you planned to guard those guys going into tonight? Are you saying their bench because our bench didn't play yeah, well tonight? No, because their reserves were a big reason why you guys lost in Denver. Yeah, out, but you changed the way you. No, we, we we kept the same rotation and, and uh, uh, listen. I thought their you know their reserves played pretty well. You know, Monty, you know, Monty Morris he always you know loves playing against the Nets. Hit hit two big threes there and kind of got them you know made the game tight. But uh, listen, our our reserves are doing a heck of a job. They're they're holding the fort. Uh, getting proud of the way they're playing. I think DeAndre's, uh, DeAndre's really helping us right now. Kenny, to have a guy like Spencer Dinwiddie who can go get a bucket twice, two driving layups down the end of the regulation, what is it like for you to have him as a coach? I mean, it's, uh, it's like having an elite running back if you're, you're an NFL coach. Like, you can just pitch it to him and, and, and he can go get a bucket. And I, I think he's really getting better at reading the game. You know, his, his lobs are getting better. Uh, reading when they double team him, he's really taken a, taken another step as a player. Uh, but when he gets speed downhill, he, he's he's basically unstoppable. So th those are the two plays where he he just got ahead of steam, and you can't really stop him. I'm wondering if when Spencer plays like this, does he just make continuously make your decision making as you guys continue to get healthier, harder and harder? And, and same for uh, Iman Shumpert and David Mwaba as they continue to battle. Do you find yourself in a Sophie's choice? I, I just think it's a good, it, you know, it, it just adds to our, our, our depth and adds to our talent. And, and I, I just see it as a good thing. Now, I, I, I you know, I, I am thinking about what is that going to look like, you know, rotation. You know, a you know, how much does he play? Does, uh, uh, what does that look like with Spencer start? You know, come off the so there, there, those are good problems. Like, I'm, I'm excited about, you know, st uh, and our staff is excited about. Uh, making that work, but uh, I can only think that the experience that, that these guys are getting uh, in, in different roles, even Garrett Temple, like you know, he's he's uh, uh, you know he's kind of our, our, our you know power scorer right now, you know, off the ball, and, and uh, you know his role changed. So, uh, but I, I think in the long run that that makes you stronger. Kind of piggyback off on Lee's question, the two Williams and Spencer had out of the timeouts. Was that was the idea to kind of give him the ball yes. and, and just get to the lane? It worked great out of timeout plays. It was just get the ball to Spencer and get out of the way. You know, it was, it was really that 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 simple. Just could you touch on I guess what this shows in terms of growth? I mean, for you to be able to win a game like this when you shoot this poorly yeah. from the outside to be able to kind of grind things out. Like yes, that. Brian. I, I do. I think this it's twofold. I think it's uh, uh, you know. Definitely being able to get stops and, and the rebounding piece was a big concern coming into this with with with, uh, with Millsap and Jokic. That, that's where they hurt us last time. And then and then you know with guys, some guys being out beating an elite team. And that's you know you know you say well our schedule hasn't been uh, the hardest in the world, but um, this is a darn good team. And and I, I, you know it's rare you you know uh, 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 get too excited about a win, but this this one makes you you know gets you excited. Uh, uh, that we can compete, uh, you know, with, with the best teams in the league, even with, with a few guys out. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.